What is up my fellow Andronauts? Black human has been touted to cure all disease except death. It's also been used to increase testosterone, improve fertility because it contains a very powerful quinone called thymoquinone. So in this video, I want to go over the evidence to show how effective black human is for increasing your testosterone and so on. So let's dive in. So first of all, in terms of testosterone, they used an ethanol extract to increase testosterone in rats. And again, like I want to emphasize that the extract is extremely important because when you dissolve a powder in ethanol, for example, you will extract certain compounds, not all of the compounds, just certain ones. So there's a difference between a water extract, an ethanol extract, a methanol extract, a CO2 extract, and so on, right? So the extract matters. So here you can see that LH increased slightly, but testosterone increased more in a dose dependent manner so the 400 milligram per kilogram was the most effective for increasing testosterone in rats and this was the ethanol extract so there appears to be some evidence uh, that it can increase your testosterone but if you look at the increase in testosterone it doesn't come close to other herbs that you would see tonkatali or bri bryonia or damiana these kind of stuff they increase testosterone much more like three times four times baseline level Whereas this one didn't even increase it twofold. And it, <clears throat> so the point is that it can still increase testosterone, but it's not going to be as powerful as other testosterone boosting herbs. Then they used a black cumin seed oil. The dose was 0.5 milliliter per kilogram. So this would be about 4 milliliters for a 100 kilogram guy, which could be equivalent to about 1 teaspoon. And this was testosterone. This was a massive increase. So at least you can see there was a more than a doubling increase in testosterone when they used the black seed oil. And also this was the thyroid hormone that increased significantly. So it has pro-thyroid effects and pro-testosterone effects. So the, the previous one, the ethanol extract, doesn't seem to be that good at increasing testosterone, but then when they used the oil, this was significantly better at increasing testosterone compared to the ethanol extract. So again, like the extract, the thing that you use is gonna give you different results. And then it also showed there was an increase in testosterone in rabbits. They used 5 milliliters of the oil per kilogram per rabbit. The human equivalent dose would be about 160 milliliters for a 100 kilogram guy. There wasn't much of a difference or there wasn't much of an increase in rabbits. And it was just like a really high dose. You would have to drink like a whole container of it to get only a small boost. <laughs> but at least this was just in rabbits, right? In humans, it might have different results. Then they, had, then they compared a black human, about 500 milligrams, plus palm date pollen, which about 700 milligrams didn't increase testosterone. So this was before and this was after. LH went up from a 4.7 to a 5.7, so it was an increase in LH. But testosterone went from 47 to 48. There was almost no increase in testosterone. Then we have prolactin, which from 22 to 19.8, so a little bit of a decrease, not really significant. And then estradiol went, remained more or less the same at 30 and 30. So at least we know that black human at 500 milligrams combined with palm date pollen doesn't increase testosterone in humans. Then we also have three grams of a black human didn't increase free testosterone. They didn't test for total testosterone, only free testosterone. So we can see that body weight decreased from 77 to 72 kilograms in these humans. So they lost weight, but free testosterone didn't increase. Like it also it didn't decrease, but it didn't increase. Right? It just remained the same. And this was for the placebo group. They didn't lose weight, but their free testosterone also really didn't change. So it doesn't seem to be that good for increasing free testosterone, which is actually like more important than total testosterone. And it's also been shown to lower DHT in rats. So these rats were injected with testosterone to induce benign prostate hyperplasia. So this is just like expansion, like growth, not to like a pathogenic uh, prostate cancer growth. It's just like a a bigger prostate right because it's benign and it's not cancerous so the phytochemical analysis indicate the rich presence of the unsaturated fatty acid linoleic acid oleic acid palmitic acid steric acid and other fatty acids in the seeds so when you use the oil specifically it contains a bunch of linoleic acid and linoleic acid is a potent inhibitor of 5 alpha reductase which will then lower your dhd now, this was in rats, so rats might be much more sensitive to the inhibitory effects of linoleic acid. I'm not sure in humans, there's not really a lot of evidence. There's only in vitro evidence and animal studies on this, no human studies. So I don't know if it will have the same effect in humans, but it might seem that the main inhibitory compound is going to be the linoleic acid. So DHT went up when they were injected with testosterone, and then when they added the black human, 
in stronger doses, you can see that the DHT dropped. So it clearly inhibited 5-alpha reductase. But as I mentioned, this is in rats, and I don't know if humans will respond the same to this. So take it with a grain of salt. Here are some other benefits of black human. It might lower your prolactin, depending on the individual. Antioxidant, antidiabetic, antihypertensive, neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory and analgesic, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, antiprosthetic, anti-cancer, and it improves fertility. And then it's also been shown to improve your lipids. Here they used a black human extract providing about 50 milligrams of thymoconone. The product was 200 milligram capsules for three months. It has helped to alleviate sleep disorders and stress and significantly reduce cholesterol, LDL, VLDL, and triglycerides. So you can see this before and after. How all of the lipids, like this was cholesterol going from 180 to 160, LDL going from 113 to 95, HDL going from 42 to 48, and the VLDL going from 130 to 107. So it does seem to improve lipids, at least at this concentration, and help to improve your sleep quality. So as I have said many times, just because something doesn't really increase your testosterone doesn't mean it's going to be useless. If you want to use it for improving overall health, by all means do it. It does have some very good health promoting and gut promoting benefits. So it could be part of your stack, but if you want to primarily increase your testosterone and free testosterone and lower your plaque, then feel freaking amazing. Black human is not going to be on that list. So if you want to maximize your testosterone, I have a free ebook on that. So if you want to maximize your testosterone, I have a free ebook on that. Link is in the description below if you want to get it. So I hope you learned something new and I will check you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank <laughs> you.